Dead Grin Immortals. You are watching Dead Grin's Customs. Like this video and subscribe to this channel before I destroy you all. Don't you like this color? Isn't it as beautiful as his customs? Go on, worship this channel, or else. Hey, Dead Grinners, this is Dead Grin, and welcome to another episode of Dead Grin's Customs. It's been way too long, but let's go right into it. This is my custom Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Now, the figure itself just recently came out. I found mine at GameStop. But what I found in most reviews is that they were really, really tall, like to the point where they were basically taller than a Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, in my Dragon Stars Collectors group on Facebook, there's a, a young man named Piero Toledo. And that guy, um, what he ended up doing was cutting off the bottom part of um, the boot. Now, they took the yellow part of the ankle, but I really don't mind the aesthetic. Because once you do that, I cut that off, dremeled underneath the boot and use the same joints that came with the shoes and it worked out great now here he is next to um the regular dragon stars release as you can see he's slightly smaller than him which is perfect because they oversized vegeta in dragon stars anyways and there he is next to a super saiyan 4 Goku, well, my custom black, uh, Go Goku black, but it's basically comparable to the original Super Saiyan 4 Goku. He's still too tall, but basically his head is at shoulder level, which is a lot more reasonable than where he was before. Um, maybe you don't wouldn't want to cut the ankles, but it worked out perfect for me. And I saw Hot Cheeto fingers use a wash like to bring out all the detail in the fur and uh, the, the muscles in the chest and all that stuff which worked out great on his figure um, I'm not sure what color he ended up using uh, I know that there's a color difference in the hair for Vegeta to Super Saiyan for Goku Goku is pitch black and Vegeta's in the show was more of a, like a brown so I ended up using brown as my wash um, and that, I thought that went perfectly with the chest, you know, because of the skin tone, it kind of like, it went from this really pale yellow that comes out in the original and, you know, made it more of a proper skin tone. Now let's get these guys out the way. And I also highlighted it with a, a, a red. You know, it's, he still has all, he retained all his uh, articulation. Did the wash on the tail as well. Brings out the muscles in the back. I just love the, I haven't really used washes as much. Washes are basically like uh, watered down paint almost. Um, you can buy them as is. I made mine just by adding a little bit of water. There are better ratios to use for washes, but I mean, I just wanted to do something real quick. He was nice enough too to, along with some figures that he um, sent me, to send me a Citadel wash, which I'll probably end up using for future customs. <laughs> uh, huge shout out to Hot Cheeto Fingers. Thank you so much, dude, for everything. He ended up sending me a tambourine. This guy right here uh, that he has a video of on his channel. You can go over to his channel and watch the video on this custom Dragon Stars tambourine from the original Dragon Ball before Z when Goku was still a kid. This character was on the top of my wish list. He's the one who kills Krillin for the first time, steals the four star Dragon Ball from Goku, defeats Goku the first time he meets him, and eventually gets killed by Goku. So, huge, huge shout out to my friend Hot Cheeto Fingers. Thank you very much for everything, guys. I expect more videos this week, and um, 
catch y'all on a flip flop. Let me know what you guys think about these um these both of these customs in the comment section down below. Peace. All right, listen up, monkeys. Subscribe to Dead Grins Customs before I infect you all and make you my slaves. <laughs> Okay guys, if you guys like today's episode, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and share the video. And make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with all my customs and everything outside this channel. Like I always say, if you're watching this in the morning, good morning. And for everybody else, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.